How are you going? Vacuum cleaners are used for many things, like cleaning carpets, by lonely kids to give themselves hickeys, and for making certain body parts bigger. I've never really gone along with vacuum cleaners, as all the ones we buy seem to suck, so instead my family now manually vacuum. But recently, one of you left a vacuum-related comment that really tickled my interest, that read, the other day, I found out that a vacuum cleaner is supposedly strong enough to suck your eye out of its socket, and I pride myself in being a crappy bootleg Mythbusters, and while the real show may have a big budget, I have something they don't, access to disposable little people with two eyes. So today, I'm going to take one for the team and test if you really can suck out your eyeball with a vacuum cleaner. Wait, do you reckon you can help me out? I accidentally sucked up a coin. Could you look in there for me? You want me to look in there? Yeah, look in there. Alrighty. Vacuum cleaners work by making themselves empty, which causes the outside air and anything else nearby to rush into that space. And for some reason, vacuum cleaning companies pride themselves in selling a product that is essentially nothing. And you would think there would only be so many ways you could sell an empty container, but vacuum companies over the years have gotten pretty creative. When vacuum cleaners first came out, they were marketed to 1900 housewives as an amazing tool that allowed them to quickly get all their housework done before their husband got home from work and beat them. And then, towards the end of the 20th century, the vacuum cleaner became a bizarre symbol of strength for everyone, allowing the user to chug down a whole glass of dirt and then a bowling ball. But wait, it's two bowling balls, and now three. It's complete madness. And why is it always bowling balls? I never found them that impressive. You know what I want is for them to put that vacuum cleaner on the bald guy's head, and then kind of lift him up and twirl him around. And if you can do that with your vacuum cleaner, then I guarantee you, I'll buy it. And now we live in an era where suction power is only the beginning of what vacuum cleaners promise. If you've ever watched an ad for Dyson, they are selling much more than the absence of air, but a lifestyle and future. Every Dyson vacuum cleaner looks like it's either stolen alien or military technology with their 34 jet cyclone penetration system, which promises to suck away your dirty past and place you into a sterile future where you can hit on your neighbors by trading vacuum cleaners. And Dyson claims to be different to other vacuum cleaners as they're bagless, which is great if you enjoy inhaling a whole carpet when you empty them into a bin. Also, if one main vacuum cleaner wasn't enough, you can also get a sidearm, which comes apart and snaps back together with a noise so satisfying it makes you feel like a hitman that's about to take out some spilt pot plant dirt. And Dyson doesn't just make vacuum cleaners, they also have fans, hair curlers, and hand dryers. And you're probably wondering why I brought this up, and it's not to advertise Dyson, but actually the opposite, as I was once in a bathroom when a drunk guy pissed into one of these Dyson hand dryers, which instantly vaporized it, creating a cloud of urine that floated to the top of the bathroom and still lingers on my taste buds to this day. Thank you, Dyson. And viewing all this vacuum cleaner propaganda is tiring and tedious, enough to make you want to suck your eyes out. And if their strength is actually anything like they advertised, then this might actually be a good option. So before I try this on myself, I thought I'd do some research and find out if there's any kids or drunk guys stupid enough to try this out on themselves. And surprisingly, I couldn't find any, only injuries caused by the stick of the vacuum cleaner. But what I did find is even better. This is a scientific journal article which explores the rather common phenomena in which men let curiosity get the better of them. The best thing about this article is not that these men were unable to resist the sexual pull of the vacuum cleaner, but none of the men wanted to admit that they had purposefully placed their snake in the pipe. In all cases mentioned in the article, the men claimed they were the victim of an unfortunate accident and they just happened to be in the nude while their wife was out shopping. I'm not sure why that's relevant. And then the vacuum cleaner turned itself on and caught their Yahoo. And as a guy that also happens to have a Yahoo, I know that isn't how it works. It was no accident. That's kind of like me just saying, oh, I accidentally fell on the keyboard here and placed an advertisement right here. That just doesn't happen. Let me guess. You're too busy to watch this ad. Yes, yes. We are way too busy to watch this advertisement. We were watching some high quality content before you interrupted it with your weird Bitcoin investment scam, Alec Baldwin. It's really annoying. Here, let me help you out with this. See, I would never put a real advertisement in my videos. 
All right, back to the schlong cleaning. Some of these men sustained pretty serious injuries, including lacerations which needed surgery, which is horrible for the men, but great for this video, as it means a vacuum cleaner myth has a chance. One more interesting thing, which is how common Dyson Dickings are. This report found five incidents in a town of 50,000 people, and let's say half the town are men. That would translate to two out of every 10,000 people, meaning that if 500,000 people watch this video and 90% of you are men, that means around 90 of you watching right now have done the dirty, with this face. And you know what, with Dyson making products that look like this, and with marketing like this, I can't really blame you. It's like Dyson is trying to get revenge on men for the years of housework they have thrown onto their wives. And it's really, really, do you know what that means? It means I've wasted enough time wanking around and we can get on with the video as it will be over 10 minutes long. All I need is a vacuum cleaner and an eyeball to stuck out. And I could make some kind of human eye analog, but it wouldn't be very accurate. So I decided I would use a pig's head. And luckily, I'm a connected guy and have enemies in all the right places and was able to easily find one. And here's our pig's head. Now for me to say this actually works, I want the eyeball to pop cleanly straight out of the head. Extra points if it makes a good pop noise, a good satisfying kind of. I also didn't think it would be very exciting to use a non-see-through tube, so I bought this transparent tube so we can see the eyeball bulging. Also, if this household vacuum cleaner isn't able to do it, I also invested in this industrial vacuum pump with a perfect appearance, and they weren't lying. Now in the past, some of you have gotten annoyed when I've used animal analogs, and I understand why. It's pretty confronting looking at the decapitated head of the pig, but I'm not the one responsible for the pig's death, and this was actually a free waste product given to me by a butcher. And I'm also going to put a warning here. I don't know what I expected to happen when I chose to use a pig's head, or what you expected when you clicked on this video, but the next couple of minutes are extremely gross. But it's alright, as I'm doing this for educational reasons to show you the dangers of a vacuum cleaner. Do not try this at home. Alright, first up, pig's eye versus the shop vacuum. So there were a couple of things I didn't think about before using the pig's head. Firstly, the bone structure of a pig's face is quite different to humans. With my own head, I can get a nice seal with the vacuum in my eye socket. So to get the same thing, I had to remove some of the pig skin. Also, since the pig is dead, it's gone through rigor mortis and its muscles have toughened up. So I don't think this is going to be very realistic, but I've got nothing else to use. This is disgusting. Okay, I guess you can see it. Okay. Ah! Ah! Oh. Ah. <laughs> that is gross. <laughs> and it's a little hard to see through the tube, but the eye is bulging, but it's not very dramatic. Now let's see what happens if you were to get the vacuum stuck on your eye and then do the natural thing of trying to pull it off. And the eye moves around, but not much happens, besides some popped blood vessels. Okay, now let's move on to the industrial vacuum pump, and it's strong. It actually crushes the plastic tube I was originally planning to use. So I'm going to make a new eye puller out of acrylic tube, which was surprisingly hard to find. So I ordered this device, which has a clear tube and inbuilt ruler, and uses a vacuum to enhance happiness. And I've blurred the box and instructions as YouTube was giving me a hard time and demonetizing me. So the instructions recommend that I use the device in my own home, at the country club, or in any place which has a reasonable amount of privacy. I'm banned from the country club, so I decided to use it once again in my garage, but this time with the door closed. And if you have any other stupid ideas that you want me to try out, tell me on Twitter, Discord, or in the comments down below. But maybe something not gross? Can you suggest something nice, like can IDAT go down to the beach and buy some fish and chips and have a nice day? I would like that. Alrighty, so the acrylic tube does this to my hand, so I reckon it's got a good chance. Perfect. Try this a bit more. Oh, there we go. Oh! Oh! What the? Oh my god. Oh. 
and this is absolutely disgusting. I regret doing this experiment. Are you happy, toasty butter? Is this what you wanted to traumatize me? Okay, the eye has popped out of its socket and kind of inflated. And I'm no doctor, but I don't think you can just push that back in. But this was done with an industrial vacuum pump, not your household vacuum. So, can you suck out your eye with a normal vacuum cleaner? Probably not. I think you'll just give yourself pink eye. Would this extra eyeball length help you see further? I think so. Are celebrities like Kylie Jenner going to see this and start vacuum pumping their eyes as well as their lips? I hope so. Also, if you do plan on enlarging your eyes with this amazing device, make sure you follow the device's instructions and refrain from lending it to others in order to avoid spreading any skin rashes or diseases. And now, if you would excuse me, I need to take a nice, relaxing shower. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please subscribe and maybe share it around with your family and friends that still have working eyes.